Hello friends. In this session, we are going to discuss about how to flatten a binary tree into a linked list. This is one of the famous interview question when you go to any product based company. Now let's understand the problem statement. You have a binary tree. You need to convert that binary tree into a linked list. As per the problem statement given here, you are not supposed to use any other data structures like stack queues. Once you flatten or convert a binary tree into linked list, on any given node, its left child must point to a null reference. Its right child must act as next reference in linked list node. Here is an example of input binary tree and expected output is shown here. This binary tree looks like a linked list. Even though it has uh, two children reference left and right and any given node here the left reference is always null. It has only right node, right child. So it is like a next reference in linked list. Now we'll take this as an input and we'll try to explain our approach. In our approach, we'll start with root node. First, we will take left subtree and apply flattening logic. And then we'll take right subtree, apply flattening logic. Within flattening logic, first we'll apply a node who does not have any grandchildren. In this case, let's say node 2. For node 2, 3 and 4 are children and they are leaf nodes here. They does not have any children. In case 3 and 4 are having any children, for them to become grandparent. And those nodes will, will be called as grandchildren to node 2. But in this case, there is no grandchildren exist. Now, what is our logic here? So, for this node, identified node, first we'll take right child, store it into temporary variable. Let's say for time being, it is t, and we are storing the right child reference into variable t. Now, we will move its left child as a right child reference. For example, it looks like 2.23. As a whole structure, this looks like this. Now, what to do with the right child which is stored in temporary reference? Now, what we need to do, we need to take the same node reference, go through right child, I mean iterate through right child and travel only on right side till you reach at the end. At the end, you add it as a right reference. Since in this case, we have only one, one node, which is 3, which is moved from left to right. And for that, we will add node 4. Now, apply the same logic on right side. But unfortunately, there is no left child reference here. We no need to do any node movement from left to right. Now we'll move to node 1. Node 1 has 2 and 5 as a children. Now we'll apply the same logic. First, we will, we will store node 5 into a temporary variable. In this case, again, t is going to point to 5. Now when we are pointing the reference node 5, by default, node 5 is also pointing to 6. So the entire link shown here will be temporarily stored into variable t. Now move to which is left child of node 1, move it to right child of node 1. Now it looks like 1 is pointing to 2 and 2 is acting as right child of node 1. Since 2 has already right children which is 3, 4 it appears like this 3 4 now once the left child became right child we need to 
attach the temporary node we have kept aside now where to attach this so as discussed for given node one go through till end of right node pointing to null so we will come this this way and identify that four does not have any children right children right child so attach five to four right child now since five is also pointing to six the structure appears like this so this is our logic now we'll take another example apply the same logic before we are writing code for this so here is another binary tree given as an input we'll start with left subtree in this first we'll start with node 4 which does not have any grandchildren on left side so now first we will store it right children right child which is 5 into a temporary variable which is called t and we will store this node reference here and move 1 to right reference so 4 node 4 has right child as node 1 and the structure will, will look like this right Eleven, and it has ten. So now this temporary node reference, which is kept aside, has to be attached again. So now, as we discussed, this five has to go to extreme right end. So that means for given node four, it has to be the at the end right children five. It will be attached to node one as a right child here. So now next since the entire right subtree here does not have any left children there is no need to no need to move any node from left to right so now we'll move one step up in this case we'll take node 6 and here we need to move 4 to the left child 4 to right child reference so first we'll move reference 8 to temporary variable now the temporary variable is pointing node 8 reference remember that node 8 right child is 11 node 11 left child is 10 the entire references will be carry forwarded so now once we move 4 on right side it appears like this now 6 is pointing to 4 as a right child now 4 has already couple of children so it has a left node which is sorry it has a right node which is 1 and it has another right node which is 5 so now we need to find a way or we need to identify where to attach the node which is kept aside assigned to a temporary reference now take node 8 since we are at node 6 go to traverse on right side till you reach null so when you traverse here you reach node 5 and its right child is null attach 8 here so now 8 also carries another children another child which is 11 11 has another node called 10 which is left now when you apply flatten logic on this in the recursion you will find that 10 is at left side which has to be moved to right side now as part of this it will move here and this is our expected output now we'll write a code in order to save some time i have created a skeleton code already I have created a new class called flattened binary tree created an inner static class called node it has data which is integer node references left and right in order to store children so a constructor to create ob node object 
and it takes one input variable temp which is assigned to a data so now we have a static node reference which keep track of root node in binary tree anything will start with root so we are keeping track of root node within the class so similarly i have written some code for in order traversal which will be helpful to execute and see the output and this is a wrapper class internally we are calling a private method like method overloaded method which takes input as root node now we know that in in order we'll start with left node first then parent and then right node so we have written simple code here for, uh, to test our functionality later so now we will start with the flatten method again here the flatten will act as a wrapper method internally it is calling another method uh, overloaded one which is private it sends root as a reference so this is where we need to start implementing our logic now as a first step check is given node is null or are the leaf node in such cases we'll just return there is nothing to perform so if node double equal to null or is it leaf node how to check that if the given node does not have any children it's a leaf node so node dot left double equal to null and node dot right also double equal to null in this case it is leaf node what will we do here is simply return so now once it is done we need to apply the flattening logic recursively on left subtree we will apply the logic only if left child is not null for given root if left child is not null then only we will apply this logic so check if node dot left not equal to null then apply flattening logic since we said we will apply the logic recursively the first call should be a recursive call on left node so flatten and pass node dot left reference here so now what should we do here so in this case first take the right child and store it into a temporary variable now let's define temporary variable temp node and it is going to store node dot right and then flip the nodes i mean not flip move left child reference to right child reference so what we do node dot right will be node dot left and now make sure that node dot left is pointing to null now what we need to do we have taken the right child and stored into a temporary node reference we need to identify a place where this right node temporarily stored will fit into so as discussed given node and currently processing node go to the right extreme till you reach right reference as null so since we have to traverse i'll copy the current node into a temporary node i'll name this as current and copy right node dot right so now you need to iterate go to the right most reference where is where there is no right child now we'll use simple while loop and the condition is current dot right is not equal to null so till this condition is valid the loop will run so inside this we will point current to current dot right so now once we are out of this loop point current dot right to temporarily stored reference so this is our logic once we are done with this if loop 
if you notice here we are applying flattening logic on left node now we need to apply same logic on right child so we'll check if node dot right is not equal to null apply flatten and pass node dot right so now we are done with our logic now we'll test our code i have already written a main method and inside this created an object reference for flatten binary tree class which is this class and created a tree structure inside this we'll make a call first before converting into a linked list we will do another traversal and print the output so tree dot in order now we will do flatten logic and then again we will make in order let's run the code and see the output so now here is the initial in order traversal output and here is the in order traversal output after flattening after converting into a linked list so this is what expected as per lead code problem statement expected output thanks for watching please like the video please subscribe to the channel